Welcome back to my Baby Pips Forex Education video series where I do video tutorials on every single grade, every single section and subsection of the School of Pipsology by Baby Pips. And if you are brand new, you can check the link down below, which has the full playlist of everything in elementary grade one, two, three, and up to date on grade four for moving averages. Link in the description and pin comment down below. So this is the final video of grade four of moving averages and where we are probably my most favorite tutorial. We're going to be talking about the Dahl Guppy multiple moving average indicator. So if we head over to the tutorial, you can see here that it's a relatively long tutorial. It's probably one of the longest tutorials that I've done so far in terms of actually reading and understanding and digesting the information which is again one of the reasons why I've got these video tutorials because I know most people don't like to uh, read and they're more visual learners, especially when it comes to trading. So what I wanted to do is very quickly go through some of the basics in this tutorial and the link of this tutorial will be down below. But what I want to do is get some of the footage out from the archives because I've actually created my own Dal Guppy multiple moving average indicator absolutely free for trading view. And if you can't find the indicator on TradingView, the source code or the pine code will be available down below in the description. All you've got to do is copy and paste it into the script editor of TradingView to get it. And I think this is one of the, the best versions in my personal opinion, because instead of having these moving average lines and trying to zoom in to see when something has crossed over, what I've done is I've created clouds and therefore the clouds change color as soon as one of these moving averages, for example, cross over and therefore very easy and visual. You can see tr potential trend tra changes and also indicator systems. I'll also be walking you through how I use this indicator and my signals that I use to trade off it. Dal Guppy's multiple moving average indicator uses two groups of exponential moving averages. There are 12 moving averages used and again, they are all here and it's pre-built in the indicator that you guys are going to look at in a second. And he splits it into two different sections. The first one are short-term momentum moving average periods between the three and the 15. And you can see those here in blue. How he defines it is how short-term traders are viewing the market. And as you can see, because it's faster moving averages, so it follows price quite closely. And then we have the last six uh, moving averages, what he determines as the long term traders, which gives you a more smoother outcome of where the direction of the trend is. And when you put both together, it looks something like this. So you have the short term group and the long term group. At a very high level, there are a number of ways to trade this, which I'll go on to later on in the video. But one of the classic ways to do this is when you get congestion or crossover in the short term moving average group. And at the same time, the longer term group are still fanned out in the right direction. So you can see over here, over here, even over here, you've got potential buy signals in this longer term trend. And then it's not only to see recent price action where you see the longer term moving averages start to cross over, which then gives you a potential outcome for a reversal. And then again, like any indicator, you can use RSI divergence, whatever it may be, you can use that to help you. And this gives you with relatively little information where we are in terms of this overall trend. So again, I'll link to this below where you can see that it gives some really useful information here about what to look for, choppiness in the market, all these kind of good things. But what I want to do is head over to TradingView, walk you through how to set up my OGT Dial Guppy multiple moving average indicator and how I personally like to trade it and the signal. So let's get right into it. Dal Guppy, one of the gurus in terms of trading, Forex and commodities and technical analysis came up with this concept which utilizes a group of moving averages to distinguish short-term traders and long-term traders. At a very high level, you've got a group of fast moving averages which are classified as short-term investors. And then you have a group of longer-term moving averages which are considered long-term investors. And what this indicator tries to do is instead of showing multiple lines on the chart, 
it to group the short term and the long term it utilizes bands which signifies the group of those moving averages and it gives you in my personal opinion a more cleaner and visual view of the charts than having eight nine moving averages on a chart as well so what we've got here is we've got the euro usd daily chart but i'm just going to take a step back actually is let me show you guys how to get it so if you go to the indicator section and you type in ogt you'll see here in the public library it's called the ogt g indicator and you guys can check out all my other videos and tutorials on all the other trading view indicators that i've also created as well again all of them are absolutely so click on that and then it will load over here. And what we've got here is, like I said, the EURUSD daily chart. And you can see here, we've got uh, a variety of colors. And what these colors do is distinguish whether or not we are in a trend or we are ranging. And the different variants of the uh, versus light green and dark green and light red and dark red is either the short term or the long term investors. So what I've done is I've taken a snippet of this chart, it's just easier to explain it. So we have got light green and we've got light red. Whenever you see light green or light red, that means that the short term investors or the fast moving averages blind and going in the direction of the trend. So the short term, the short term traders what we're calling is bullish and here the short-term traders are bearish now if you see in the short term if you see a yellow as you see here it might not be that clear on the screen I'm just trying to circle a few pieces of yellow that is where the short-term traders are neutral so we're not either bearish or we're or we are bullish so that's the short term group max with one another. Change this to blue. So then you've also got dark green and you've got dark red. So the dark green is where the long term traders are bullish. And the dark green is where the long term traders are bearish. And then you also see these blues over here, if you can see here. That is when the long-term traders are neutral. Now, as you can see here, what you're really looking for is when you've got light green and dark red together or dark red and light red together. As you can see over here at the current price action of this week's daily, daily close, you can see we've got dark red, we've got light red. So the short term investors are bearish and the longer term investors are also bearish. So this trend is signifying from a technical perspective that it's a very strong trend over here. And if you are a swing trader or a long term investor or long term bearish on the EURUSD, you could sell at the or a limit order on the EURUSD to short the market and you will then continue to just ride that wave because you can see here for a long time now over here that the long-term investors or the long-term moving averages have been dark red and therefore bearish so very quickly you can analyze a pair on any time frame or even a stock or a commodity it works exactly the same way to realize that a stock in this case is kind of bearish now the way I like to use this indicator is to understand where there could be change in trend or a pullback trend. Just to get most of this stuff out of the way. Perfect. Two over here. So a good example of this, just trying to find out, would be would be this section over here. So we can see that. We both had the short term, the long term investors all in green. Price went up, price came back down. Again, just so much stuff. And then price went down, and you saw the short term investors went to yellow. Therefore, that they went to neutral. And then you, we saw it change to green again. 
when it changed to green was a perfect entry point at this level over here to again to continue to ride that wave and to potentially take profits again at that level that level or that level and even potentially at this level here where it's gone red so what you're looking for is the longer term to be dark or dark green and then you're looking for the short term traders to go into yellow or red territory and then if it comes out of that and goes back to like green again that is where you want to do it so you've got your so you've got your you've got your you've got your trend over here you want it to go down and then go back up and then around this area here is where you would see this yellow situation or red situation turn back into green to go take that space another perfect example is this area over here you could see within this block of price action both both moving averages were red then it turned into yellow and green then turned red again and then you got a move and then this again is another scenario here and throughout all of that price action long-term traders continue to say red so therefore signifying that this is this could potentially be a very very strong wrong trend and so even price gets into the dark red but again there is no movement in that dark red including points over here another way again like you could use this indicator is is when price gets into the dark red dark green zone or the dark red zone and you're still seeing strong trends because the dark green does not change this example over here is a trend train change this example over here is a trend change where price there has gone from green to blue to red and then back to green and then back to red again so hopefully you can see now how you can quickly see where what is the current state of the market where the short term pullbacks potentially are but then also where the long-term trend reversal is coming in there. So if you could use this with uh, divergence, I'm not going to put it up on the chart here. Price could be making higher highs, your slow could be lower lows, and then you see the turn or you see the turn here. We'll give you the signal. There's time to go there. You could miss weekly pivots here and then there, and then you could see divergence with the red showing. That's your entry signal to potentially hit that miss pivot level. There's so many ways you can use this indicator while using other technical factors to get to to stack the odds inside your favor to get a profitable. And what I like about this, if I go back to here, is you can use this on any time frame because again, it will just take the moving averages. Let's just say we're looking at a 15 minute chart. Here, got this area here trying to take a bit of it. So that area over here as potential entries. This again would have been an entry but then is a doesn't work out because you can't break through this level. And, and then you've got this kind of chop. This is an example of where the indicator is not great, right? Because when it is going through consolidation then you get this information here, which is I like to use missed pivots. Whenever there's a missed pivot, 99.9% .9 of the time, you'll probably have the you probably have a scenario like this because the missed pivot for the day was probably here, and then eventually you see I made that up. You get what I mean? Then price goes in. So your entry trying to get into a missed pivot trade would be around here, around this blue area here, because the long-term investors are going there try to get a one-to-one -to -one reward to risk to go and make that trade. Again, trading doesn't need to be that complicated. And hopefully you can see how you can use this indicator for, um, to give you a more visual. You can have this on MT5, it's just a set of moving averages. Again, I'll link those moving averages down below so you can build this in MT4. Make sure you check out the video that goes into a lot more detail than I have, but this is how you can use it. More visual, more pictorial way of utilizing the Guppies multiple moving indicator so i put that video on the screen now to learn about more and then check out my playlist as well for my other indicators for trading views so really hope you've enjoyed this video i should catch you guys in the next one